I'm Olivia Moore, and I'm a partner on the AI investment team here at A16Z. One of the best parts of my job is I get to test lots of new AI products, often dozens in a single week. And over the last two years, I've landed on a core stack of 10 products that I use weekly or even daily that make me a lot more productive. This is my AI stack. First up is Comet, which is Perplexity's new AI browser. It's become my default browser, but also more uniquely, I use it to triage my email and my calendar. It connects directly into G Suite, so you can schedule meetings and sort or even send emails directly from the Comet UI. I also use Comet for workflows via shortcuts. You can build and save down a shortcut, which is essentially a prompt, and then run it on any web page or with any context. For example, you can draft custom outreach messages to trigger on specific websites, or you can save down LinkedIn profiles to then generate automations. Comet is currently waitlist only, except for Perplexity Max subscribers, which is $200 a month. Next up is Julius, a data analysis tool. If you've used ChatGPT for processing Excel files, you know that it's not always reliable. It can get confused or hallucinate, and it's not great at iterating on work over time, or at generating graphics or other outputs that you can download and do more work with. I do a lot of my work with data, and I've been really impressed by Julius. You can upload files and then chat with them, essentially creating full analyses in natural language. As an example, I'll upload a file of inflation data and ask Julius to plot it and find the 12 month period with the most variance. You can also set up notebooks in Julius for repeat processes. For example, if you wanna analyze where your customers are coming from and look at it every day. And you can also set up your own templates for what their graphics should look like. Julius has a free tier for up to 15 messages per month with paid plans starting at $20 a month. My third pick is what aspires to be the AI native LinkedIn, happenstance. LinkedIn is a great system of record for your network, but it's really hard to search across your own or your connections networks. You're constrained to a limited set of filters. But on happenstance, you can connect your LinkedIn, but also your Gmail and Twitter connections and enter natural language prompts like, engineers in SF with five years of experience who have worked at an early stage startup. You could not do this on LinkedIn, but happenstance converts your question into search terms that make sense, and then it scores and ranks every result accordingly. You can also add connections or create groups to search across the networks of your friends and coworkers, and then ask for intros directly on the platform or you can tag Happenstance in a Slack channel or an email to help find connections. Happenstance is currently free with a $24 per month paid tier for unlimited searches and results, as well as exports. AI note takers have been around for a while, but Granola changed the game by working without putting a visible bot in the meeting. Granola runs as both a desktop app and a mobile app. You can trigger it to start recording a meeting manually or set it up to auto record when you start a Zoom or a Google Meets. On Granola, you can combine your own manual notes with AI notes, see a real time transcript, and even get suggestions for questions to ask as a meeting is happening. And you get a summary in your preferred format afterwards, as well as shareable links to your notes. The Granola team is adding new features all the time. Some of my recent favorites are the ability to categorize meetings in folders. So I can add all of my chief of staff interviews into one place and then ask Granola which of all the candidates are located in New York. You can also see related meetings and now connect Granola to Zapier to trigger even more complex automations. For example, every time I meet with a Y Combinator company, I can have ChatGPT summarize it and add that summary to a Google Doc that's shared with my team. Granola's free trial covers 25 meetings. Paid plans start at $18 a month for unlimited meetings, and there's a business option for teams, as well as enterprise plans for more privacy-focused organizations. We're halfway through the list, and that brings us to Gamma, an AI slide deck, document, and website generator. I use Gamma to build and share anything that's going to combine visuals and written information. So you can think of it like a replacement for Google Slides and Google Docs. You can go from prompt to full creation on Gamma to solve the blank page problem. One example is a slide deck about the history of Disneyland. 
but I more often use Gamma as a creative co-pilot for content or ideas that I already have in mind. Gamma is built with an AI-powered editor, so you can design a slide and then say something like, make this more concise, or add another column of information here. Other than the AI features, one of my favorite things about Gamma is it gives you flexibility in output. You no longer have to make every slide the same size, and you can have dropdowns and other interactive elements. Gamma has a free tier and plus plan starting at $10 a month. At number six, we have Willow. Willow is a voice dictation product. Accurate voice dictation has gone from pretty hard to pretty much solved in the Gen AI era. But on Willow, you can also edit your writing with voice. So I can read aloud a list and then tell Willow to format it into bullet points, and it'll make that change retroactively. It also works as a desktop app that allows you to use a hotkey and drop dictated text into any other app. So you can talk and type directly into email, Slack, or even your web browser. And Willow now adjusts to how you talk and the changes that you make to the dictation to write more effectively for you going forward. Willow has a free plan with 2,000 words per month and then a $12 per month plan with unlimited use. Superhuman isn't a new product, but it's had some major upgrades in the AI era. Superhuman is an email client perhaps best known for their shortcuts, which have been a major time saver for me in a job that requires a lot of emailing. They've been quickly adding features that bring AI more directly into the email experience. Some of my favorites are auto-labeling of messages based on the context, as well as the split inbox, and instant replies and auto-reminders. For example, if someone doesn't respond to an important email, Superhuman will resurface it for you. Superhuman costs $300 a year or $30 a month. Number eight is Overlap. For anyone who makes or deals with a lot of video content, Overlap feels pretty magical. It can watch your long form video, auto detect and score the most engaging moments and then turn them into social ready short clips, complete with styled captions, scheduling of posts, and even mimicking your tones from your past posts. This saves massive time in manual editing and you can even clip content from other channels or creators using Overlap. Overlap has a solo creator plan at $20 a month a more advanced team tier at $250 per month, and custom enterprise solutions. At spot nine is Crea. I use Crea for nearly all of my AI-generated content. It hosts the best models in one place across image, video, lip sync, animation, and more. Crea also has smart workflow tools to allow you to iterate on content more easily. As an example, you can generate an image, upscale it using AI, and then turn it into a video using a wide selection of models, all in one place. I've trained Laura's on Crea of myself and many of my family, friends, and coworkers, which makes it extra easy to generate hyper-realistic content. Crea is available via a free plan to try out their models and tools, with pro plans starting at $8 a month for more generations and more simultaneous generations. And finally, we have ChatGPT. My usage of ChatGPT has gone up significantly since it launched, and even significantly over the past year. I'm a very heavy user of deep research for dives into specific markets, as well as the GPT-40 image model. I also use O3 for whenever I need a particularly well-reasoned take. I've been a bit disappointed that their new agent and connectors don't work as well as I've hoped but I am a subscriber to their $200 a month pro plan and predict I will be for a very long time to come. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear what's in your AI stack. Comment below to let me know what you're using every day and what I should try. Mm -hmm.